Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Boss Audio Systems, their marine audio head units. We've got it in black and white. There's a MR1308 UAB, and the other model's called the MR1308 UABK. So it comes in white and black. What we're going to do is we're going to be unpacking the white quickly, get right to the actual head unit. We're going to power it up first, show all the features of the unit, how the detachable faceplate works, and then we'll show how the actual wiring works. This is a four channel 200 watt head unit. It comes with English and Spanish instruction manuals, which is kind of cool. In the box, we're gonna get some screws and clips to actually remove it if we ever need to take it out. The actual framing for the front, the power cord and speaker connections. Then we pull out the main unit itself. Oh, it all falls out just like that. Now we'll take the box, put it aside, because you know, you're not really paying for the box, you're paying for what's inside the box and that just happens to be what we've got right here. This is the head unit, still missing the detachable faceplate, which is in this box right here. And again, being white, they took the time to actually do white on white, so it's a matching set. Take this, we wanna line up. It's got line clips on the side, and it's got two on the top, two on the bottom, so we're gonna try and line all that up. Just like that. Now I've tried this with and without the faceplate on, it's definitely easier without the faceplate on. And now the faceplate can just click in place just like that. The release button's right there. So when we look at the back of the actual unit, we're going to see our antenna plug right here. RCA output, so this is where we can have a left and right channel coming out of the unit, going into an amplifier. And then we've got our power connections and our speaker connections right here. This is the built-in fuse right off to the side. These are the cables that come with it. i pull that out. The one with the four sets of colors, which is the purple, gray, white and green these are all our speaker wires and they even put a nice little tag up here to tell us this is speaker output then we have our power line connections which include the four wire connections and again they're telling us with this yellow tag that this is all for power and what we have here is our remote which is tagged remote and that's to turn on and off amplifiers or if you have a powered antenna they even heat shrink the end in case you're not going to use it over here we have three wires and these three wires are the actual ground, the main power, and the accessory power. This is what turns the unit on and off when you turn the accessories on and off on the boat, ATV, quad, whatever you have and you want to use this on, this is how it's going to get turned on and off. This keeps constant power and feeds the amplifier and all the overall features. And this basically allows the unit to get turned off automatically when you pull the key out or when you turn on and off the accessory package. So let's hook it all up and see what the display looks like. The power accessory option goes on the bottom, just like that. The actual speakers go on the top. There's a little clip there, a little notch gonna line right up there. These are, by the way, really great units. These are, are fun, easy to use, loaded with features, and it's just a really smooth operating machine. Very reliable, very dependable. So now we're gonna power this unit up. So here we go. Let's cover some of the actual overall features on the unit. First foremost, the blue button right here is going to be your power button. And it says goodbye, and off it goes. Turn it back on just by pressing the power button. Then right beside that, we have our source select. Because I have connected Bluetooth to it, we're going to go from auxiliary to Bluetooth back to radio. This source button is also how we pick up phone calls. We On top and below, we've got the previous and next buttons, which will allow us to skip forward in our songs on either our MP3 or on our phone, depending if we're using Spotify or any other services like that. Then on top, we've got a display and an EQ. If you press the EQ and keep tapping on it, you're going to change between the pop rock settings, all those sort of things, instead of just using the bass and treble controls. So if we want to use bass and treble, take the volume button and press in on it. And there we go. We're going to see our volume control, our bass, our treble, balance, left to right, and fade front to back back to volume there we go so and that's pretty much it i mean there are a lot a couple of little features and then we do line up down here at the bottom where we have our band for am fm our loudness option play pause skip all those kind of functions all down at the bottom these are also our presets for our radio and don't forget at the far end behind here this is where our aux input and our usb input is so at this point, we pretty much covered everything we'd want to talk about on the radio. I'm sure there's some things that I've missed on it, but overall, it's a great radio at a great price. Again, full marine audio package, so it has a lot of shock absorbency to it internally, and everything's lacquer coated. So that's going to make it very resistant to humidity. If you plan on having any splashing or anything like that because of where it's been put on the actual ATV or boat, 
Get yourself splash cover, that's always a good idea. Remember the actual baskets of the units are designed and made, so this way no actual uh, screwing in is required. That's why it has all these little triangles. You just push up on that and lock it in place. Slide the radio in, job is done. I hope this video helped you in your buying decisions today. Maybe we'll see you in the next video. I'd like to say thanks for watching and bye for now.